we transfer expenses out of it because it's um, the spinach salad just isn't expensive enough to buy us a buffalo chopper. That's what we're this year. <laughs> we did buy a buffalo chopper this year. We wanted to, I think. <laughs> it was in the request list, yes. yes. Um, yeah, the, you know, the school lunch is really, that is one of those items where, unfortunately, you have the cost of food, you have the cost of labor going up, but you really can't raise the lunch prices enough to cover those without making it too expensive where nobody would buy the lunch anymore. So, as Annie said, it's not a, you know, just related to Hadley type of item. It's, it's almost everywhere. Um, and there's, seldom you see. there's several, in the student activities accounts, there are several kind of like sub-accounts, you know, Ooh, for example, so yeah, the lots. ski club, the every class has money, and so that money then would be used specifically for events. Brian went through some of the events that the seniors will do, and then it specifically has to be used for those student purposes. Okay. And the last report we have is the grant report. Again, um, it's, it's on track uh, with where we expect to be. Some transfers will be made here as well to utilize some more of these funds. A couple of items that we can carry over if we, uh, if we have extra money would be the circuit breaker and the Title I. Uh, we can carry those amounts over into next year if we don't utilize them all. But I don't anticipate um, Title I to have a carryover. If it does, you know, it's okay. Um, circuit breaker, as I said, I'd like to transfer expenses from that if we have available money because it would be great to carry that forward into next year. Uh, those are used uh, to cover SPED tuition expenses, um, which we've done quite a bit this year, as you can see, $115,000 so far. Um, and some of the grants have been spent down to zero, as you can see, so that uh, always is the goal, obviously, you know, we're never going to return any money to the state or federal government, but just as an update, uh, that is where we stand at this point in time. So. Done? I'm done awesome. Any questions? Okay, thanks guys. Thanks. We are on to school committee reports. Policy, policy did not meet. I think the only thing we have to do at some point is um, expand the sick bank to the whole district at some point. So let's schedule something. Yep. Um, we, we, I had met uh, with the Collaborative for Educational Services after our last meeting, and we did approve the evaluation instrument for the executive director, and I will be getting a large packet of evidence from him in order to do that. <laughs> I was confused. Um, we also had a presentation. They have a technology integration service for schools, and they gave a presentation on the work they do with very young children in Google Apps and Google Drive. So. It was pretty cool mm -hmm. what they had third graders, little tiny children doing. That they will be offering to us, or they already for do. A fee. Oh, for a fee. <laughs> They'd be happy to come to us. Would they? Calls. Yes, they would. Um, the buildings and grounds um, really has uh, uh, the goal for the next year. Really, should be to try and get the first part of uh, development of the fields um, done. Uh, we have had more than one person suggest, we, we uh, have explored grant opportunities, they did not pan out. Uh, it has been suggested that we approach um, CTA for uh, possible funding and so the Building and Ground Subcommittee should be making plans to approach them over the summer for the fall town meeting. We do have, we do have plans, lovely plans for extension of the fields at Hopkins, uh, baseball, softball, soccer field. And a walking track. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we do, I have spoken to the town, we have spoken to the town more than once. We have a property line issue before mm -hmm. anything can really be done. Um, and I, I don't know if anybody has any suggestions to how we can get them to move on that, it would be great. The schools have um, had fields on someone's private property. Mm -hmm. And so for the walking track particularly, um, that issue mm -hmm. needs to be cleared up before. Which the town needs to do is. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Yep. So that has the potential of holding that process up. And that's it. Technology. <laughs> um, the technology committee um, did not meet last month, but is meeting this week. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. And um, on a parallel path, um, I wanted to report on the collaboration I've 
um, had with Marilyn Judah's art class at the high school level. Um, so many of you know I run a, a national program called the University Innovation Fellows Program in collaboration with Stanford. And we um, pr work primarily with scientists and um, engineers to introduce concepts of innovation and design thinking, lean startup, um, really a human-centered approach to inquiry so as to enable uh, ideation and creativity, problem solving, um, and come up with sort of feasible ideas um, and present those ideas. And so um, over the last six weeks, we've introduced um, a variety of concepts and tried to pick something kind of neutral. They, they talked about, you know, picking an issue like, um, how do we uh, introduce more diversity into the schools? And we decided on something a little bit more um, non-controversial, like lunchtime. <laughs> and so um, students uh, queried other students and also interviewed Diane Zach and Mish and others about what it takes to run a school um, meal program and, and ideated on the different ways that they could improve the lunchtime and sort of nourishment process and came up with some great strategies which they presented to um, the principal as well as to Mish and a few um, some class students um, and um, so it was a great experience in all for both myself and for Marilyn Judah and hopefully also the students. Um, I learned a lot about how hard it is teaching high school students. That was pretty amazing um, to experience and also um, that you can't do a lot in 45 minutes. That's what was my one of my key takeaways. So, um, but nevertheless, that innovation, design thinking, entrepreneurship, all of these concepts can be introduced to students at a very mm -hmm. young age, and um, that you can see a lot of benefit from doing so. Awesome. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Um, I think that's our committee updates, and I think we've done all of the action items. Mm -hmm. Did we do them all? Yes, you did. Okay, so your first meeting. Mm -hmm. Do you totally understand the role of the school <laughs> committee? Now? Nailed. Yeah? yeah. yeah. That, that was we our have goal. told them about the MCAS training, haven't we? I did, yes. Okay. The Mass Association of School Committee I training. That, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think what I'll do is get together with Annie and have a more in depth conversation about all the things I can do to prep up for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you for coming to the tri board. Yes. Sure. There's one again on Wednesday, right? There yes. is. It didn't scare you away? Cabin No. Excellent. <laughs> three, three meetings in a week? <laughs> Excellent. Um, all right, so the next meeting date is supposed to be Memorial Day. So what are you suggesting, Annie, this 18th so or there are June 1st? Right? The 18th or June 1st. I would say before rather than into June. It's entirely up to the committee. Uh, then our evaluations are two, two weeks earlier. True. <laughs> What's happening on senior week on Monday the 1st? Mm. Do you know? Yes. I don't think it's anything for you. I don't know if it's anything <laughs> for me. Is any of it any for me? What about me, It'll be a little time. time. <laughs> for Monday or the, uh, Wednesday or Thursday. That's the senior class trip to Granby. Is Are you going? Currently planning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try. Tell that I'm going to try. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So the 18th or the first is fine. What um, preference? Uh, I'm out of town on the 18th. First is better for me. Uh, is it? Does it have to be a Monday? Do we want to look no. at an alternative? I'm going to oh, be sure. doing horseshoe I crab surveys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be doing horseshoe crab surveys night down in Delaware Bay. That's important. Can I, can I go with you? I, <laughs> I would love to do that. The first year is still very close to the plane. Yeah. You, is Monday the first bad for you? I, I, think, I think I can do that. Just wanted to try to avoid the summer. Oh. All right. Baseball season, tournament, all kinds of crazy right. stuff going on in early June. But I think I can do June 1st. All right, let's say June 1st, we'll check in with Heather, mm -hmm. and if anyone's schedule changes, let us know so that we make sure we have a quorum. Mm -hmm. And we're going to say 6.30 with mm -hmm. people weighing in, including... 6.30 or 6? 6. 6.30 is our 6 o'clock was executive right. session. Gotcha, thank you. 
And with that, have we done it? Mm -hmm. We have. Yep. I would. I don't know where I just put that. I can't. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it if it's needed. I don't think it is, but not according to Sir Robert's Rules of Order expert. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.